May's Z Racing courses have been announced and they're all crit circuits. Woohoo! Who doesn't like going round and round in circles lots? Because I do, and so should you. So we start with the Volcano Counterclockwise, which is just the American way of saying anti-clockwise, just using more letters. It's a great route. I did it a, a dozen of times. It used to be my favorite lunchtime race. Very rarely see it nowadays, and it is a great course. It's the best way to go around the volcano. I'm not gonna show you the whole course, because if you haven't been around the volcano tons and tons of times, then do you even Zwift, bro? It starts off in downtown Watopia, down that little ramp, and then, you know the score, up this little bit. Everyone always goes hard here, everyone. It's mandatory. Any race that goes up here, it always starts off hard. It achieves virtually nothing, but everyone has to do it. Then you go over the, through this little tunnel thing and then start the laps around the volcano. We've got three laps around the volcano. The power-ups are Feather, Aero and Ghost. They're all pretty good for the finish. This is the best way to go around the volcano. It's 4.2 kilometers. The lap starts and ends in the volcano. Then you take a dip out the volcano, round you go, through the volcano again, take a dip down, flat bit, and then the exciting bit starts on the final lap, 800 to go. So we're gonna have a look at everyone's favorite crit racer, Cadman Cycling. As I said, the excitement starts with about 800 meters to go, and it's just after this turn off. If you look in the mini map, there's a turn off off to your left, and the ramp starts up there at about, oh, I thought it was 800, maybe maybe near 700. And it starts, it starts pretty easy um, at about 3%, but then ramps up, to around six percent and stays and stays there for a while so if you've got good one minute power maybe if you've got the ghost you could make a long range attack from about here i would say and cadman's doing a perfect job stayed in the draft if you're going to launch launch now hit the ghost get a good gap off you go when it flattens out a bit if you've got the arrow use it then when the speeds are higher take it all the way to the line but it's not your only chance. It will, people will push hard here undoubtedly, but if you're not going to make your break there, then the chance, there's a good chance that somebody will and you can draft behind the chasing pack or you may have to lead it yourself if someone's got to lead it. And that's the advantage of um, going long is that you cause confusion in the pack. Someone, someone's got to chase and nobody wants to. So you get this flat bit here. Um, if you're out off front, then keep the hammer down and if you're chasing then just try and try and get others to do it but you may have to do some work yourself and then the great bit about this course is that coming up to this bump here Cadman just about manages it perfectly he's in a points race here which he actually wins and he's done it even better on previous laps but what he does is he carries some power into this he carries some speed into this ramp this is his fifth time round, I think. But uh, so he carries some power into that ramp, keeps it down all the way down the ramp. Yeah, it takes a little bit of a seat again, and then goes for it again into this final extra little ramp up to the finish. Hit it hard, just five seconds to go at this stage. If you normally sprint from 280, say, leave it till just before that ramp. It's a little bit, a little bit shorter, but because of the extra ramps, that it'll it'll make your sprint last just as long. And you want to keep a little bit for this little ramp at the end. He gets beaten at the line, but he wins the race. Kaboom. And that is how you do it. 